Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about how we perceive our senses. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about how we perceive our senses. So in one of our other channel videos, I told you all about how sensation is different than perception. Sensation is just all the information that's out there that we're able to sense. Perception is how we interpret what we sense. But obviously we don't perceive everything, right? You simply don't notice everything that goes on around you all the time. So how do we perceive things? There's two main ways. The first way is called top down, like top down. Top down is when your expectations influence your senses. So what we know changes what we notice. It's all based on what you know, what you expect. Like for instance, signs. You see signs every day, but you've been taught to pay attention to certain signs like stop signs. Last time you were going somewhere, you probably passed a dozen different signs that you didn't pay attention to or perceive at all. But you noticed when you saw a stop sign because it's based on our expectations of what we should sense. Our brains can use top-down processing for lots of really neat things, like filling in when information is missing based on what we know. For instance, if I was to show you this and tell you it's something that I need to add to my grocery list, your brain probably sees this as the word beans. But, if I show you this and tell you that this stuffed animal was my favorite when I was a little kid, now your brain can see the word bears. Because of top-down processing, your brain can fill in all the missing information based on the context of what you're talking about or thinking about. By the way, this isn't just a really great example of top-down processing. It's actually based on the classic experiment by Rukul and Odin back in 1986. Love to all those psychological scientists that have gone before. Our brain can basically perceive information that we didn't necessarily sense all of using top-down processes. Top-down processing means that you can still understand when you see a misspelled word or when autocorrect messes up someone's text, you can fill in the rest of the information. Or even when somebody is talking to True and messes up a word, your brain can fill in the right word. Like how I just said True and not you. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> the other way that we can process information from our senses is called bottom up but not that kind. <laughs> bottom up as in the opposite of top down. In bottom up processing, you can only use the information that you're given by your senses. So it's data driven. The only things you can perceive are what you're getting from your senses. You actually are forced to do this every time you go into a situation that you're not familiar with. If you don't know anything about the place or what's going on or what you're supposed to do, you don't have any expectations to draw from to do top-down processing, which means you notice everything. For those of us that get overloaded in new situations, a lot of that is because you are noticing and perceiving all of that new information all at once. It can be really overwhelming. For those of us that like experiencing new and different things, like going to a new country or having a new exciting experience like skydiving or base jumping, part of the reason you like those things 
might be because it makes your senses feel alert and alive because you're noticing everything going on around you. If you want to notice more about the world around you, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking and I'll see y'all later. Bye. This one probably has a joke at the end about bottoms, but somehow that just feels wrong. Hey, you know what's fun? We are. Subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. We're not kidding. We need your subs. It'd really help us out.